Yeah, I I always ha- I've always had this driving curiosity to understand about business and how it impacts society and people. Right. So for me, it's not just about building profits. That's obviously a part of it. It's a key part of it when you work for an ad agency, believe me. But I I I think that. Um, especially today, a company has to have a product or service that is genuinely needed and delivers not just a predictable outcome but also supports somehow a role in society and somehow making people's lives better or at least not worse. Um, And if I can leapfrog from there to collective intelligence, I think that was a huge part of my interest in learning about collective intelligence, doing the research and then forming conclusions about where it might go in the future, was that it has enormous and almost unparalleled power to change things, to make people better, uh, to make them more effective regardless of whether that effectiveness manifests itself professionally or in a personal sense. So I've now met an awful lot of collective intelligence members. As you pointed out, I'm not. I'm not a member. Uh, and, th- and there's a very real reason for that, which is it allows me to do the research that I have to do in a very impartial and dispassionate way. But having met a lot of your people, I think they're absolutely phenomenal, the membership, because they do stuff other people don't do. They have a very high level of emotional intelligence. We'll come on to that again in a moment. Um, But collective intelligence is also an organization that you can't understand in 30 seconds. Mm. It's not like um, a car or, or a cosmetic. It has layers and those layers require some intelligence to understand them. But once you get it, the latent power of this thing that um, you call collective intelligence is absolutely phenomenal. And I, I see it not just as a New Zealand or an Australasian thing, but a worldwide thing. 